Hello everybody and welcome back to Dickie's videos of course where no war game remains unplayed and here we are again with pike and shot campaign so we did very well in the first uh, episode but folks don't forget to click that like but also that subscribe button for more further con uh, content so here we are with the campaign of the British slash French um, Oh, it's going to get interesting. We did really, really hurt them in the initial battle. But we're going to see if we're able to push forward and cause them some issues. They've actually got a combined army here. Uh, but the question is, can we keep it? Is it only the first turn we've had? Um, so we could push them again this turn. We've got a big army here of 4,000 uh, English. But oh, they've got a lot there with a lot of horse. Okay, we're going to push here. See what happened. The battle has begun in the Agro province. Uh, the French forces are offering open battle. So, I think we've got an advantage here. they got 2,000 foot. I'm outnumbering them on foot. Uh, they've got a lot of horse. Slightly higher, so they've, they've got the French third army here. You know, we do have a good 68% chance of victory, but we're going to play it on the field, of course. Let's see if we can hopefully pour fire as we did before. So an open battlefield, this might change up a little bit here, because uh, last time we had very hilly, a hilly start. Um, okay, we've got a lot of reserves. I think this looks a light gun, unfortunately. Um, so what we might do is get most of this cavalry to swing to the left. And then just move on, have this uh, artillery in the centre of our army while everybody else moves around it. Got a lot of reserve pike as well, so what we might do is locate most of the reserve pike in the centre. Okay, these are unarmoured horses, so these will keep back here. Okay, I think that's all we could particularly do. Nope, no movement at all. Okay, so what's he got? Oof, veteran horses, veteran horses, veteran French. Which, yeah, mm, night front veteran horse shock. So we're definitely disadvantaged, and the range of this light gun is uh, slightly pathetic. They can out cover me here, so I've got to play slightly, uh, slightly sly. Okay, no movement. Well, we can. Cavalry whatsoever here. I guess the cannon will have to walk forward. Problem is here, there's, there's no hills or anything he's sitting on, so it's not going to be particularly shooting at anything most of this game. If I can catch him around this rough terrain spot and come at him at an angle, this cavalry, if it is shot cavalry as well, it's very, very superior. little cannons
still quite out of range there with the cannon. If we shoot, that will bait him in here with a veteran shock cavalry. It's very pricey. I think that I think definitely inflates a lot of their list points. Right. First attack in anger. There, and I think that's all we can do. Let's see if he responds. <laughs> straight up my cat, straight up my reserve pike. The firing continues, it's going to be brutal. Oof, come aggressive at me here. Alright, can he see? He can. I've shot him. So we'll shoot the veterans again. Turn there. I don't want to. It's half arc, unfortunately. Keep these guys, keep this unit back in case for any. Oh, it's clicked there, unfortunately. Pull that far on the veteran unit. He impacted. Oh! Made a mistake doing that because he could have charged on the other side. So big damage. They took the res they took the uh, they, the chance of trying to charge me there. But oh word, the, the advantage is definitely in their side. Uh, we're still at effectiveness because we've not moved. It's keeping that cavalry quite well in reserve. Okay, that's turn. We won, but they didn't drop. for the veteran. That out cavalry outmatches me massively. Fragment and a pushback, so at least that's fine there for now. Oof. Ooh, what's the uh, POAs there? Unarmoured, so they they lose that advantage. But these are unarmoured veterans. Hmm, that's not bad actually. Well, we're going to uh, inflict a damage on that unit. We did get a frag. <laughs> Big fire back.
we are going to turn to the right. I think we will go... Oh, I don't want to get too outflanked here. I think we are going to go here. Right, it's going to come back at us very, very soon here. Okay, next turn. <laughs> Even then, best ones they call that fire. And Good disruption on my lines from them. Could have got him a break here as well. Oh no, that was the infantry, the 19. This is a mo oh. uh, They are veteran armoured, veteran unharmoured shock. Yeah, it's the armoured and being veteran. Big numbers there. The reserve pike doing very well. Nice disruption from the cannon. Because mm, they're unarmoured, but the veteran but doesn't make up that much for the POA. It's fine. Um, yeah, we are going to do that. Ooh. We come off worse, unfortunately. Let's try that again. Holy moly's, that unit does very well against me. Okay, let's uh, keep them at bay a little bit here. Aggressive now, I think. Their power is in their cavalry the breaks. I'm assuming the breaks at the end of the cavalry. Probably disappear. He's going to hit the cannon. Yep. Oh. Got a good flank there, though. Well, we have the chance to flank. We have to flank. Do we get that far to flank there? No, we don't, unfortunately. But we would have to turn there. We're going to have to turn here. Your face, and yes, we are going to do that. Can we turn again? No, well, we are going to charge. If we lose this, well, I wanted to stay there. I thought we'd get lucky there and stay in combat, but oh, this is getting a little bit, a little bit tasty. They fell back, but leave them in a little bit of a flank situation if they do turn around to look at the other cavalry. Ooh. 
he actually broke himself for all the losses. It was just the amount of musket fire we had each other. You gentlemen felt the pain of the free It's just like. Did well. We're, we're worrying now about the French cavalry. Ooh, pricey. But unfortunately, the French had enough, but they. I've seen the true colours now of the French forces. Um, but yeah, that was very bloody. Very bloody. We did move them out, but it's not. We've got a slight English advantage here. I hope this is not over, over too quickly, because this seems... Uh, I mean, once they get some treasury, they'll raise some more regions up. But we've got to actually take these um, take these provinces rather than do what we're doing now. So remember, folks, click that like, but also that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next battlefield. I will click a save so you can see me save this game. French Brits save. And, of course, on the next battlefield, folks. And bye-bye.